Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Uh, welcome to a new video. I am so excited today because we are going to be talking about spring. Let's talk about what we're here today, why we're here today, and that is my spring TBR. Some of these books, well, a couple of them were recommendations. Uh, some of them may be for my book club. Some of them may be for my reading challenges. Some of them, you know, I'm just really excited to read and I'm going to read them this spring. So let's go ahead and get into the spring TBR. Let's talk about some spring book club picks uh, for my personal book club and my work book club. Uh, if you don't know, I work at a library and I moderate um, with two other librarians our book club for our customers. First, I have The Gifted School by Bruce Holsinger. This is, I think, our May book club pick and it's what, how it was described to me was a read alike that I was told for Big Little Lies by Leanne Moriarty. So that was very intriguing because I really enjoyed um, Big Little Lies and I'm hoping that this has similar vibe. Um, what I know about it is that it's kind of like a fancy neighborhood where, you know, like there are rich people, but they're also like not rich people, community cracks, things happen that's all I know. So this was my July 2019 uh, book of the month pick, so I'm, <laughs> I'm excited to finally read that. And then for my personal book club, um, we are currently, well, we are about to read The Song of Achilles, and then after that is my turn to pick, and so if you're watching this, Tori and Erin, um, don't pay attention. You're not allowed to know in advance because you will read it before, um, but I I think I'm going to pick The Ice Queen by Alice Hoffman and you're like, The Ice Queen, why would you read that in the spring? But I'm just like, the book cover has a butterfly, it's very springy to me, but it kind of just sounds uh, very intriguing. I'm very intrigued by Alice Hoffman. I haven't read Practical Magic, but I love the movie. So this one uh, is about a woman who leads a quiet life. Keeping other people at a cool distance, one day utters an idle wish to be struck by lightning, and her wish is granted. Instead of killing her, this cataclysmic event marks a strange and powerful new beginning as the woman soon finds herself drawn into a passionate relationship with another survivor of a lightning strike, a mysterious stranger who harbors dark secrets. Their affair becomes the center of a riveting story of lost love and redemption, a novel that reveals Alice Hoffman at the very height of her powers. So, I don't know that. I will definitely pick this for book club, but it sounds intriguing and I probably, probably will read it this spring anyway. As for spring reads that were recommendations, uh, Reagan from Peru's Project on Instagram, she's also on YouTube, she did a reel uh, books to read uh, this spring, I think, and one of the recommendations was Station Eleven by Emily St. John Mandel. This book is also on my list of 21 books that I own that I want to read this year, so I was just like, read it in the spring? Okay, if you insist. I know this book has a kind of after pandemic, um, post-apocalyptic type of story and it follows a troop of uh, Shakespeare actors. I, I don't know how I feel about this. This was a National Book Award finalist. Um, I know so many people who absolutely adore this book and I'm very curious to find out why. I, I just, I don't know how I'm gonna feel about this book. So I am definitely excited to get to it this spring. Another book recommendation, I don't think this was specifically for the spring, but the cover just screams spring to me and it was from uh, Anne Bogle from the blog Modern Mrs. Darcy. She also has a podcast called What to Read Next, which I highly recommend. It's pretty, good. it's pretty interesting. This was one of her book club picks but I don't want to pay $10 to be in a book club, so I never joined, but I know that they were reading this book and it sounds very interesting and it's also a read-alike for one of my favorite books. So it's Meet Me at the Museum by Anne Youngson. This is fiction. So this was a read-alike recommendation for the Guernsey Literary and Potato Peel Pie Society, which I absolutely adore. I know this book is also is an epistolary novel, so it's written in letters. It's about, you know, two people who are writing back and forth. I think one of them lives on a farm. The other one, I don't know. I don't really want to know. <laughs> it's just, if it's a read-alike for the Guernsey Literary 
and Potato Peel Pie Society. I will read it. So, Meet Me at the Museum by Ann Youngson. So, some classics that I would like to read this spring. First, I have Emma by Jane Austen. I'm actually buddy reading this, um, and we are supposed to have finished volume one by tomorrow. I've got, um, like 40 pages left, so I'm on track. <laughs> but we are reading this in March, and I'm really excited to finish this. I... I uh, just had to return my copy of the uh, DVD for the movie adaptation to the library, uh, so I watched it again yesterday and I just love it so much, so I'm really excited to finish this. I'm really liking it so far. And then the other classic that I would like to read this spring would be Mrs. Dalloway by Virginia Woolf. Again, I just feel like it has a very spring vibe. I know that it um, is a novel that takes place over 24 hours about a woman who's planning um, some type of party, and I'm really interested to see where it goes. The thing that I am not a fan of is that there are no chapters in this book. It is just one chapter. <laughs> I mean, it's not very long. It's less than 200 pages, but I know Virginia Woolf, she's known for stream of consciousness writing, and I'm not too much of a fan of that, but we will see how this book goes. This is also on the um, Ray Gilmer Reading Challenge, uh, and it is also one of the 10 classics that I want to read this year. I also want to read a couple of other books that are on my reading challenges for the year. Um, I've got Transcendent Kingdom by Ya Jesse, which is on my list. I'm reading the Goodreads Fiction nominees and winner for 2020, and this is one of the nominees. And I'm going to, I'm hoping to read this this, this spring. I um, really am interested in reading this. I've not read Homecoming by uh, Jesse, so I am really interested to see how I like this. And if I do like it, I will read Homecoming eventually, but I also feel like this blush pink is just perfect for spring. <laughs> Another book that is well, one of my reading challenges uh, of the 21 books that I want to read this year that I already own, I've got The Cruel Prince by Holly Black. I'm really excited to read this. I think that Faye type of books are fantastic to read during the spring, so I'm really excited for this. I don't know how I'm going to feel about this. I feel like I might be disappointed. I mean, Victoria Aveyard blurbed it, so that's kind of a red flag for me because I don't like Victoria Aveyard. <laughs> Not her as a person. I don't like her book. Her books. Um, but anyway, so we'll see how this one goes. I'm really excited to read it, and I hope to read it this spring. Another one of those books that's on my 21 books um, that I own that I want to read this year is Loveless by Alice Oseman. Again, we've got a pinkish purple co cover, so it just screams spring to me. And it is a YA contemporary about a girl who is learning about a sexuality and discovering um, her sexuality as well. So I'm really excited to uh, get into this book because I've heard so many people who loved it, like Gabby from Gabby Reads, um, what's her name? Katie Coulson, I think. She, I think, did a vlog too where she really loved it, so I'm just really excited to read this book. And then another book that I have on my list that is not a reading challenge, I just have it out from the library and the cover screams spring to me, so it is on my spring TBR and that is Watch Over Me by Nina LaCour. I am a little hesitant about reading this book because I did not like Nina LaCour's other book that I read which was We Are Okay. Um, I just, it, nothing happened <laughs> in that book and I don't like plotless books, so I think that this one will be a bit different because I know there's like a ghost aspect and she's on some type of I type, I think it's like, um, kind of where like they, like a camp kind of thing where they have kids like work on a farm to, I don't know, build character or whatever. So I think that will, that will have more plot in this book. I just wanted to show you, um, I like how the, the front of the cover, she's like looking, looks like her eyes are closed, but she's actually looking down and then she looks at you on that page. So I like that. This is a very pretty book and I'm really excited to read this. And then I've got some books on Libby, which is a library ebook and audiobook app, if you don't know, and some Kindle books that I want to talk about. First, Legend Born by Tracy Dion, The Dark Academic Book Club, which is run by four people, and I don't remember who they are, but I will try to link their, I don't know if they have their own channel. 
I'll try to put their Instagram uh, in the description. They are reading Legendborn uh, uh, for April and May, I think. And I had put it on hold and finally got it. So got it just in time and I'm excited to read that. Like I said, I'm reading or I'm going to start reading soon the Song of Achilles for my personal book club. As for other ebooks, I have an arc of The Soulmate Equation, which is Christina Lauren's newest book, uh, romance novel. I think it comes out in the beginning of May, so I want to read it soon, and I'm really excited about it. <laughs> I'm always excited about Christina Lauren. And then I just started yesterday um, a deal with the Elf King um, as kind of a palette cleanser for a terrible book that I finished right beforehand. So that is another book that I'm excited to read this spring. And there are so many other arcs or books that are coming out this spring that I have a few e-arcs or e-galleys for. So I might get to some of those, but we will see. I have a big TBR already. And I want to end this spring TBR with one last book. And I just want to disclaimer here, Tori, don't get your hopes up. Um, <laughs> I think I am going to start reading Words of Radiance by Brandon Sanderson this summer. This is my sister's copy and she lent it to me and was very clear that I cannot damage it. <laughs> but now that I actually have it in my hands, I want to read it. But this book is how long? Over a thousand pages long. So, I mean, I could read a thousand page book in not a very long time, but Brandon Sanderson is writing this very epic high fantasy where there's a lot of character building and plot building that takes a while. So it's not something that I want to read very quickly. So I am hoping to start this this spring, hopefully in April. We will see. <laughs> Final book on the TBR. Fingers crossed. We'll see what happens. And those are the books that I'm hoping to read in the spring. I don't really... I can't say that I'm a very particular like seasonal reader. I guess I do prefer like darker books in the winter and I want some more lighter contemporary reads. So there are a lot of contemporary books in here, but there's also still a lot of uh, fantasy and romance. Like, I'm just an eclectic reader. I read everything. So those are the books that I'm hoping to read this spring. So definitely going to be reading more than those. These are just the ones that I would like to prioritize for the next couple of months because I'm excited for spring. <laughs> I'm so tired of winter. Anyone else? Oh, gosh. Anyway, thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, if you've read any of these books, let me know in the comments how you felt about them or also what you're planning to read in the spring because I might just have to add more books to my TBR. Also, if you know of any books that are coming out this spring that you're really excited for, I'd also love to know those. Thanks again for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, give this video a thumbs up, and I will see you in a new video soon. Bye!